Today we're taking a look at Oklahoma vs. Gonzaga match, which is happening on Monday, March 22, 2021 at 2.40 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The 8th seed Oklahoma Sooners take on the number one overall seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs in the first round of the 2021 NCAA tournament on Monday afternoon from Hinkle Fieldhouse. The Sooners have only won two of their last five games, but snuck by Missouri in a 72-68 win in the first round, while the Bulldogs continue to make history and demolish Norfolk State by 43 in their NCAA tournament opener to continue their undefeated season. The winner of this game gets the winner of Creighton and Ohio in next weekend's Sweet 16, with an eye towards the Elite Eight. Oklahoma won for just the second time in their last seven games, as they came up with the victory over Missouri in the first round of the tournament. The Sooners improved to 16-10 overall on the season and finished the regular season 9-8 in the Big 12. Against Missouri, Oklahoma trailed by as many as seven in the first half before cutting the deficit to one at intermission. The Sooners opened the second half with a 12-2 run to go up 38-29 with 15-40 to play only to see Missouri rally to lead by one with 6-21 to go. Oklahoma had one big push left, reeling off an 11-2 run to take a 65-57 lead with 2-15 to play and hung on for the victory. The Sooners shot 41.8% from the field, including 7 of 15 from three-point range, and held Missouri to 37.9% shooting in the game. Austin Reeves led Oklahoma with 23 points, 4 rebounds and 6 assists in the win. The Sooners have been decent offensively this season, averaging 74.7 points per game on the year, putting them 88th in scoring offense. Oklahoma hauls down 36.1 rebounds per contest while handing out 13.4 assists per game on the season. The Sooners are decent on the defensive end of the floor as they give up an average of 69.2 points per game, putting them 143rd in scoring defense. Brady Manick is third on the team with 11.2 points plus 5 rebounds per contest. Austin Reeves puts up 17.9 points, 5.6 rebounds plus 4.8 assists a night while Debian Harmon chips in 12.9 points per contest. Kirk Quath, Trey Phipps, Jalen Hill, Lons Williams and Umoja Gibson are other key pieces for coach Lon Kruger. Oklahoma shoots 44.1% from the floor as a team this year. The Sooners knock down eight three-pointers a game while shooting 34.2% from beyond the arc. Oklahoma has been very good at the line as they are converting 74.7% .7 of their chances on the season. After becoming only the fifth team since Indiana's dream undefeated season in 1976 to enter the NCAA tournament undefeated, Saturday's opening round win by 43 points saw the Bulldogs pick up right where they left off after winning the WCC title. As much as some people question Gonzaga's schedule, they still ran through the regular season with non-conference wins over Iowa, Virginia, Kansas, and West Virginia, then proceeded to sweep the WCC regular season and conference titles, taking down an underrated BYU side three times in the process. There's no doubt that Gonzaga is the favorite to win the title now, especially Illinois dropping out in the second round on Sunday, and Saturday's game against Oklahoma is just another game in their minds to check off the list. Gonzaga's three All-Americans and one honorable mention nominee were in fine form in the opener, and then the Bulldogs show off some of their bench depth as well. National Player of the Year finalist Corey Kispert led the way with a game-high 23 points on 6-9 from three-point range. To balance out the offense, Drew Timo went for 10 points and 6 rebounds in a light effort. Running the show is Jalen Suggs, but he was slow to just 6 points and only 18 points, but will surely be back to his dominant self against the Sooners' depleted backcourt. Oklahoma was able to get past Missouri even without its second leading scorer in Devion Harmon. The Sooners took down Mizzou by the final score of 72-68 in a game that Oklahoma was down by one at halftime. Oklahoma jumped out to a strong lead early in the second half, and that lead was never really in question throughout the rest of the game. 
Oklahoma's reward is to now play the number one overall seed in the tournament in Gonzaga, a team that has not lost a single game all season long. Oklahoma's leading scorer so far this season has been G. Austin Reeves, who has scored 17.9 points per game for the Sooners. Oklahoma as a team has scored 74.7 points per game and has shot the ball at a 44.1% clip from the field. Oklahoma has also allowed 68.0 points per game to its opponents as well. Gonzaga had no problems in defeating Norfolk State out of the meek, as the Zags won and covered by the final score of 98-55 on Saturday night. Gonzaga was ready for this year's tournament, and its shots were falling from all over the court in a blowout victory. Gonzaga is now a perfect 27-0 and will look to punch its ticket to the Sweet 16 for a date with either Creighton or Ohio. Gonzaga's leading scorer this season has been F. Corey Kispert, who has scored 19.3 points per game for the Bulldogs. Gonzaga as a team has scored a whopping 92.3 points per game and has shot the ball at a 55.1% clip this season. Gonzaga has also allowed 55.0 points per game to its opponents as well. So here are my betting suggestions for that game. It is hard to see a team competing for 40 minutes with Gonzaga if they don't have a center who can single-handedly challenge Tima, unless one of three outlier events occur. First, Tima could be sidelined with foul trouble. That isn't a catch-all but it sure does make life easier. Second, the Zags could go ice-cold shooting from outside the arc. Gonzaga's only single-digit margin of victory this season came against West Virginia, when the Bulldogs hit just 4 of 16 from outside, plus Suggs missed a large stretch of that game with injury. Lastly, the opposite could occur, Gonzaga's opponent could hit a mind-blowing percentage from long range. In the first half of the WCC Tournament Final, BYU did just that, hitting 69% on 13 attempts en route to a 12-point halftime lead. All three of those things have happened this season and yet the Zags are still unbeaten. It's starting to feel like all three need to occur in the same game for anyone but the nation's top three or four teams to threaten the Zags. There's no recent evidence to suggest this Oklahoma team is the one poised to perfect the game plan to beat the Zags. Gonzaga has beaten teams a lot better than Oklahoma by larger margins than this spread. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Gonzaga minus 14. Oklahoma is 1-7 ATS in their last 8 games overall and 2-7 ATS in their last 9 NCAA tournament games as an underdog while the under is 5-1 in their last 6 games following a win. Gonzaga is 4-1 ATS in their last 5 neutral site games and 1-4-1 ATS in their last 6 Monday games while the over is 38-16 in their last 54 games overall. Now we really get to see what Gonzaga is made of as Norfolk State was never really going to challenge Gonzaga and Oklahoma proved their chops against a game Missouri team. However, as much as I don't want to admit it at times, the Zags look legit. I mean this looks like a team that could run the table. Oklahoma has the offensive potential to hang here and this line feels like a bit of a slap in the face, but realistically, I just think that the Zags barely get a cover here winning by 17 points, something in the 81 to 64 range. My second betting advice for you is to pick over 154.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.